explain to me what data you're seeing to give you confidence to go to 100% capacity for these indoor events? We've just not been seeing transmission when the vaccine card uh, is needed. Also hoping for clarification. I understand you've removed the limits around people being able to get up and move around, but are people allowed to dance in that regard? And then also, could you provide an update on, on how many people have died that are fully immunized? That's one of the stats we don't get. And do we know uh, of the death numbers, how many of those people are fully immunized? Thank you. Yeah, so I'll, I can start with the last one. Um, uh, I don't have the number off the top of my head. It is part of the data that we present in the uh, uh, in the, the BCCDC surveillance deck that is, uh, comes out on on uh, weekly. Um, it has a table that tells you exactly how many and by what age group um, we have had deaths in vaccinated, partially vaccinated and unvaccinated people. So it does vary and it varies. Uh, it reflects, of course, being in long-term care homes where we see that the virus can spread very rapidly and there's a very high rate of immunization in, uh, in older people, our seniors and elders in care in long-term care homes. And uh, tragically, that's a large proportion of the deaths that we've seen recently, you know, older people who are in long-term care. And we count a death uh, in a long-term care home during an outbreak if somebody dies, uh, even if they don't have symptoms of COVID. We know that there are asymptomatic infections in people, particularly if they've been vaccinated. But if it occurs within 30 days, um, then it is counted. So that information is available. I can I can get it to you afterwards. Um, in terms of the the restrictions, we had always intended to lift the capacity restrictions in these these seated events. So uh, the hockey game, uh, the theater, movie theaters. Once we got to the point uh, where it was only fully vaccinated people who were in those uh, settings, so it doesn't reduce the risk to zero. It means that uh, we are mitigating the risk. We know that uh, the risk of people who are fully vaccinated transmitting the virus and getting sick is much, much less. So that reduces the risk enough that we are confident we can, when we get to that point, uh, have more people in those environments. And uh, the, the, the restrictions on movements was one of the things that we've heard from restaurants and pubs particularly, that it's a challenge for them um, to stop people from talking to a neighbour at another table and, and that that can uh, lead to challenges for staff who are already bearing the brunt of, of who don't like the con concept of the vaccine card. So we are not seeing transmission in those settings where the vaccine card is used, where people are checking vaccine status. So again, it's another one of those things that uh, we follow the, the data that we are hoping to make it a little easier for, for restaurants and pubs in, in that respect. It doesn't um, uh, go to as far as having lots of people together dancing and you know I hate to say it but <laughs> um, yeah so other settings that we are not yet at the point where we think uh, we uh, can uh, get back to some of the normal activities and I know it's going to be hardest particularly for nightclubs and some of the bars where this is an important part of the atmosphere in those se those settings we are absolutely continuing to monitor. Right now, our health system is stretched. We know that the hospitalizations are high uh, with COVID, and some of that is supporting um, areas of the province where immunization rates are still not high enough to stop that transmission, um, that rapid transmission to people, and, and we are seeing high rates of hospitalization still. So yes, we are watching that carefully, and I hope to be able to, to take off more restrictions as we get through the next few months, but it's going to be a challenge for all of us. And I, I just encourage people, for those uh, over 85%, almost 90% of people now who are vaccinated, you know, go out and support your local restaurant, your local pub, use your vaccine card, go to uh, the theater, go back to the arts. It's important for those groups to be able to have shows where we can have people safely sitting. And I will also remind people that the mask uh, requirements for indoor uh, settings like these are still in place.